so hi guys today we are going to see a based drag and drive detection system so here uh, we are using Arduino you know, as the main part of our project so this one is a 12 volt step down transformer 232 12 volt step down transformer and here so alcohol sensor we are using and this one is a IR, uh, IR sensor so it, it will alcohol sensor it will going to detect whether the person is drunk or not so this one is a IR sensor it will going to detect whether the person wearing helmet or not also we have a temperature sensor so it's going to monitor the the particular person or driver uh, temperature body temperature and also we are going to monitor the respiration level of that particular person by using respiration sensor so all the sensors reach the threshold level we get the alert message through to this gsm model and also we get alert through to this buzzer so here iot uh, such as the esp8266 wi-fi model we are using so by using this model we can get the all the sensor details from our web page so when we are uh, switch on the power supply the engine uh, here like motor will be switched on so all the parameters will be below the threshold level means the engine will be run whenever all the parameters like sensors values will reach the above threshold level means the engine will be switched off automatically and also we get the alert message so now we are going to uh, like uh, switch on the power supply so this is our proposed system so now uh, motor was running like uh, it will intimate through the relay so I here uh, detect the helmet wearing like uh, obstacle here So first one is the temperature and then alcohol, respiration, helmet weird or not, second one is. So those values we are going to uh, update from the IoT page. So whenever helmet not detected, like uh, helmet not detected means the particular relay will be switched on. So also we need to insert this sim in correct format like this one. So after the signal LED will be blink slowly. So after we correctly inserted a sim, the so signal LED will be blink like this one. So now we are going to make the call. So if call will be going uh, like ringing means uh, our sim will be inserted correctly. So now I am making the call to this number, inserted sim number. So our sim was inserted correctly. So and also like we need to change the our hotspot uh, settings like this one. So hotspot name is IoT data. Password is a one two three four five six seven eight. So connected device no connected device will be there. So after that we enable the hotspot and then mobile uh, internet. So ESP will be connected. So our Wi-Fi model was connected. See the automatically relay will be stopped and then buzzer will be clean. So we got the message like this one, helmet alert, respiratory alert. And also for alcohol we are using body spray. So you will see the alcohol level as a 51. The relay was a switched off. So you will get the alert message. temperature like above 40 means we will get the alert
So we got the message temperature alert. So like we get the alert message, uh, helmet alert, respiratory alert, alcohol alert, temperature alert, and also helmet alert. So those values also sensor values we are going to monitor from IoT page. So this is the page we are going to monitor. So default username admin small a, default to password as admin small a. So after we logged in, we will get the values. So here the current values how we can check means uh, like current time. We need to compare with our current time. So 7:53, 7:50 was almost in here. So date also same. So date also same. So temp, alcohol, respiration, helmet. So the sensor values will be we get. Also graph. So this is the graph we are going to uh, like uh, monitor. This is the helmet one. Helmet one. Respiration level. Alcohol level. Temperature level. So by using our proposed system, we can track the that particular person health parameters anywhere in the world by using our IoT applications, and also uh, we can embed with our Arduino, you know, microcontroller to propose our system. So that's all. Thank you.